When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. The moment... It's bucket time. Hey Stanley, it's me. Uh, just calling to let you know that you left your bucket at home. Silly. It's okay, I'm off to pick up groceries soon so I could swing by your work and drop the bucket off at... Oh, wait a minute. This isn't your bucket. Wait, whose bucket is this? Well, it doesn't belong to anyone else. I guess I could just... You know, keep it. Yeah, I'd really like to hang out with this bucket for a while. Oh, sorry, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, uh, have a nice day at work. I'll be here at home with my bucket. Bye, Stanley. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure beyond any doubt was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. 